Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Glory with Latoya O'Keel, your life coach and your motivational speaker. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all come on in, come on in this morning and come and join me on this blessed Friday. For morning glory. Pray everyone is doing well. As you come into the live, uh, go ahead and share to your personal page. Start a watch party. Share to any groups that you may be a part of. Glory be to God. Y'all, come on in, come on in. Just taking a moment to share. As you come in, I would like to say good morning to you. Thank you for tuning in to Morning Glory on this Friday morning, the last weekday of this week. And as you come in this morning, I would like for you to tag somebody new. Tag somebody new that you normally wouldn't tag. Glory be to God. Tag somebody new. I'm, I'm challenging you this morning to tag someone new that you normally would not tag. Glory be to God. God is awesome, y'all. He is awesome. And he is so worthy to be praised. He is so worthy to be lifted up, to be magnified, to be honored. Because he's, he's doing, he's doing just what he told us he would do. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Y'all come on in, come on in. Y'all see now, we have to press in morning glory. <laughs> we have to press in morning glory. As you can hear, I'm still pressing through my overnight raspy voice. So, yeah, we have to press. <laughs> we have to press because the devil does not like this. He does not like the fact that you're making a sacrifice and that you're getting up at a time you normally would not get up. He don't like it. <laughs> Glory be to God. The devil does not like it, y'all. So if y'all know what I was telling y'all, what I was telling y'all the other day, about you might as well get look you might as well start looking for the attacks of the enemy because they coming okay if you have been seeking this word more often you've been praying more you've been reading your bible more you've been feeding your spirit more you might as well look for the attacks because they coming okay i i, I let me tell y'all 
a good teacher, they're going to have, they're going to get their students ready. They're not going to leave their students unprepared. Okay. So I want you to be prepared. I'm getting you prepared for what's getting ready to come upon you. I'm getting you prepared for what the enemy is getting ready to test you with. Glory be to God. Now listen, where are my comment warriors at? Comment warriors. If y'all down there in the comments, I need y'all to drop a fist emoji. Drop that fist emoji to my comment warriors. Because it's early in the morning and, and, and the devil still... His mind still ain't on nothing. He be up in here coming stuff. We ain't even talking about that. Glory be to God. We talking about a move of God this morning. So save all comments. If they are not relevant to the spirit of God, save it. Glory be to God. Because I got some comment warriors down there in the comments. And you will be blocked in the name of Jesus. And God said when you block them, that's the version of you turning the other cheek. Cause y'all know Jesus told us when they when they when they when they when they hit us in our face, we gotta turn the other cheek. Okay. God said when you come in here saying stuff you know you shouldn't be saying, disrespecting the anointing that God has put over this ministry, disrespecting the anointing that God has put over this live, because I told y'all when I come on here, I ain't coming up here to play. A lot of people use this platform to play, but I don't use it to play. Because I know that there's people out there that are suffering. There are people out there that need God. And the devil will try to do anything he can to distract you from the word. Glory be to God. Now, I got to make my place safe up in here so for my folks. We ain't going to have no distractions. Glory be to God. We're going to turn the other cheek on you and you're going to be blocked. And I, I still be praying for you. I just got to pray for you from a distance. Glory be to God. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. To everybody. I love y'all. Oh my God. I love y'all so much. I'm always praying for y'all. Even when y'all don't send me personal prayer requests. Listen y'all. I'm always praying for my people. Every single soul that God has assigned me to. I don't play about my folks. Oh my God. I don't play about my folks, baby. A lot of my people, I we have never met face to face. Oh my God. A lot of my people, we ain't even never touched in the physical. Oh my God. They have never met me physically and I ain't never met them physically, but I know them in the spirit. Glory be to God. I know you in the spirit, baby. So when I say I love you, I know a lot of people say, how can she say she love me? She don't even know me. Oh my God. But I know what God shows me about you in the spirit. We are all connected, baby. Some to put that in the comments that we are all connected oh my god i don't care where you watching from in the world baby we are all connected do you understand me i could sit right here in little old dothan alabama and i could say a prayer oh my god i could send a prayer missile baby and i could send it all the way over to china oh my god i could send it all the way over to nigeria glory be to god i could send it all the way over to sydney oh my god because prayer don't never miss. Oh, my God. God word don't never miss. Do you understand me? God always hit the targets. He always hit the targets. Glory be to God. He don't never miss. Glory be to God. I feel the spirit of the living God on this live this morning. Oh, my God. I feel God about to do something amazing for you, baby. You had to press your way to get up in here this morning. You had to press your way to hit live and to be up in here for morning glory. And I see the spirit of the Lord. Oh, my God. I see God coming to meet you in your circumstances. I see God coming to meet you in your situations. He's doing it for you right now. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, he's doing it for me right now. God is doing it right now. It don't take God 5, 10, 20 years to deliver you. God said it is done for you. It is given to you according to your faith. Oh, my God. God said if you got the faith this morning, baby, he going to pull you out of that mess that you've been in. Oh, my God. He going to pull you out of that mud that the devil done got you stuck in. Oh, my God. I see in the spirit. Uh-huh. God just dropped this in my spirit. God says some of my folks, the devil done got them in quicksand. Oh, my God. God said you in quicksand. Oh, my God. God said the more you 
you try to move, oh my God, the more you try to break free, oh my God, the more you try to lift your hand, God, just put this in my spirit. I see y'all in the spirit. God said y'all in some spiritual quicksand. Oh my God. Every time you move it, the devil just pull you down even more. Oh my God. Y'all know when you in quicksand, the more you move it, it gonna pull you down even more. Glory be to God. Mm. Let me tell you something. Everything you trying to do, God said it ain't doing nothing but making your situation worse. Oh my God. Everything you trying to do, baby, is making it worse because you in quicksand. And every time you try to do something, you doing just like this. Oh my God. And the devil pulling you down even more. He's sinking his claws into you even more. You gonna need the word, baby. Do you understand me? You gonna need the spirit of God. God said that's the only thing that gonna be able to free y'all out of this quicksand. Glory be to God. It's going to take the word. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say the word frees you. The word will free you, baby. Do you understand me? Because the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Oh, my God. The word will free you. This what you're getting right now, it's going to free you. Oh, my God. This what you're getting right now, it's going to break you free. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I told y'all when I hit live, I ain't coming to play. Oh, my God. I ain't coming to play because God got me on an assignment. Oh, my God. God got me on a spiritual 911 emergency assignment. Do you understand me? This is for kingdom purposes. Glory be to God. God began to deal with me about the kingdom of heaven. Oh, my God. God said, woman of God, you done put your hand to this plow. Oh, my God. God said, it's a lot of stuff back there that's still calling your name. Oh, my God. It's a lot of stuff back there that's still trying to get your attention. Uh-huh. But God said, you done put your hand to this plow. Oh, my God. And Jesus began to tell us, he said, no man. And when he said man, baby, he meant man, woman, boy, or girl. Oh, my God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, no man. Oh, my God. No man that put his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God. If you keep looking back at your circumstances, if you keep looking back at your past, God said you ain't fit for his kingdom. Glory be to God. You got to look You gotta look ahead, baby. Do you understand me? You got to keep your eyes lifted towards the hills from whence cometh your help. You got to know that all your help come from God. Glory be to God. Don't look back, baby. Somebody that's watching this live right now, I don't know where you at. I don't know who you are, but God is showing me you in the spirit. God said you can't go forward because you keep looking back. Oh, my God. You can't go forward because your past keep calling your name. God said when your past dial you up. Let it go to voicemail. Oh, my God. Let it go to voicemail. Why are you still answering the past when God trying to take you into your future? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, let it go to voicemail. Oh, my God. Don't you answer the devil when he call you. God said, let it go to voicemail because God is taking you somewhere in this season. Oh, my God. I'm praying over every single person right now. Every single person under the sound of my voice, I'm praying over you right now, baby, that God is going to reveal your purpose to you. Oh, my God. Because I came to tell you, baby, that there is a problem that you came here to solve. Do you understand me? God put the answer on the inside of you. Oh, my God. That's why you exist. Uh huh. That's why you're breathing right now. Oh, my God, the devil don't want you to know that. He don't want you to know that you got a purpose. Uh huh. He don't want you to know that you came here to solve a problem. He don't want you to know that your generation needs you. Glory be to God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say, my generation needs me. Oh, my God. My generation needs me. Let me tell you something. When I was caught up in my mess, oh, my God. When I was out in the world doing my own thing, uh-huh. When I didn't have time for what God told me to do, oh, the devil was happy then, baby. Oh, my God. He was happy then. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. He was happy then. Because I had, I, I had no idea about my purpose. I had no idea about purpose. I didn't even know what purpose was. Oh, my God. But one day, baby, when I was sitting on my job, oh, my God, thinking that I got all my stuff put together, oh, my God, sitting on me a good old paying job with some nice benefits, oh, my God. But my spirit was in a mess. Do you understand me? The spirit of the Lord began to speak to me as I sat at my desk. Oh, my God. God began to put 
running in my feet. Do you understand me? God said, woman of God, he began to show me the work. Oh my God. He began to show me you. Uh-huh. God showed me you long before you ever came to this ministry. Do you understand me? God showed me you long before you clicked on this live. Long before you joined the divine ones, God showed me a, a group of people. Oh my God. God showed me an influx of people. God said, woman of God, these people are hungry. Oh my God. God said, they need a word. And God said, you're going to have to be the one to preach it to them. God said, I need you to get up. Uh-huh. I need you to get up from out of this, from out of this job. Get up from behind this desk. Cause I got a work for you to do. Glory be to God. That was purpose talking to me. Do you understand me? That was purpose whispering in my ear. Oh my God. God said purpose been whispering in y'all ear. Y'all keep pushing it off because you don't know what it is. But I came to tell you, baby, that voice that's whispering in your ear, that's your purpose. Oh my God. That purpose won't leave you alone. Do you understand me? Because God said many are the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord's purpose for that man shall prevail. God said his purpose gonna win, baby. That's why that thing troubling you all night long. Oh my God. That's why you can't get no sleep uh-huh that's why you ain't happy up there on them for job because that ain't your purpose glory be to god god said your purpose is whispering in your ear oh somebody comment on this live baby say the purpose is whispering to me glory be to god y'all hang on let me get my charger glory be to god come in on this live baby glory be to god Say the purpose, the purpose is whispering in my ear. The purpose won't leave me alone. Oh my God. That purpose ain't going to leave you alone. Do you understand me? Mm. Glory be to God. I'm praying right now. I ain't going to hold y'all alone this morning, but I'm going to pray this prayer over you. Oh my God. I'm going to pray this prayer over you, baby, that the Lord shall reveal your purpose unto you. Glory be to God. There's a problem that you came here to solve. And God said, if I told y'all yesterday in morning glory that you got to manifest yourself. Oh, my God. You got to manifest yourself and you got to manifest your, your fruit because there is a problem that you came here to solve. If you do not manifest yourself, and if you do not manifest your fruit, if you do not walk in your purpose, the Lord says you are a generational thief. Glory be to God. Somebody put that in the comments. Uh huh. Generational thief. That's what you are. Because you owe me something. Oh my God. You owe your generation something. Do you understand me? See what I'm doing right here, baby? I'm paying my debts. Oh my God. I'm paying my debt to my generation. Glory be to God. Because God put this gift inside of me. And God ain't give me this gift for me to sit down and watch TV all day long with it. Do you understand me? God didn't give me this gift so I could sit right here in my recliner all day and watch Netflix. Oh my God. That ain't purpose. Do you understand me? Purpose is what, what do you have that can help somebody else? What do you have to give that can change somebody else's life? Oh my God. You got an answer on the inside of you, baby. It's a world full of problems out there. Do you understand me? But God got answers walking around in the people of God. And if you don't answer the call, you are a generational thief. Glory be to God. Because you are robbing your generation. You are not paying your debt to your generation. God said every single one of you under the sound of my voice. When you came to this world, God didn't send you here empty. Do you understand me? You might feel like you empty right now as you watching me. But I came to let you know, baby, you are not empty. You are loaded. Do you understand me? You are packed to the overflow with gifts. Oh, my God. God put all kind of gifts on the inside of you. And he hid them on the inside of you. He hid them so the enemy could not steal it from you, baby. But he hid it in a place where you can't miss it. The only way you're going to miss this is if you're not looking for it. Oh, my God. I ain't looking for the folks that ain't looking for it because God didn't assign me to you. I can't wear myself out. See, because see, this what happened. This what happened. I can't try to force something on you that you're not ready for. Oh, my God. You got to be looking for this thing. Do you understand me? You got to be searching for it because if you look for it, you're going to find it. You're going to find it. Oh, my God. Somebody comment on this live. Say, I'm searching for my purpose. Oh, my God. I'm searching for my purpose. Reveal it unto me, God. Show it unto me. I'm going to tell y'all something else. If you don't want to go through no pain, you ain't ready for your purpose. Oh, my God. 
If you don't want to go through the storm and the rain and the pain, you is not ready for no purpose because God births your purpose through your pain. Glory be to God. When have you seen a baby be able to come into this world without the pain? Oh my God. There's got to be a delivery process. Do you understand me? There must be a labor and delivery process in order to birth something into the world. Glory be to God. God is getting ready to birth something on the inside of you. He's getting ready to birth your purpose on the inside of you. But God said you got to go through the pain. Oh my God. You got to go through this painful process. That's the problem. Don't nobody want to go through the process. Oh my God. Don't nobody want to go through the labor pains. Ooh. Somebody comment, baby. Comment on this live. Say the labor pains. Ooh. I'm in the labor process right now. Do you understand me? Oh, my God. I'm in the laboring process right now. Every day I get up, I got to push. Oh, my God. Every day I get up, I got to press. Do you understand me? Because I'm birthing something. Oh, my God. God is getting ready to give birth to something on the inside of me. And that's what I want to tell you this morning, baby, on morning glory. Oh, my God. God stopped me this morning, and God had me to get on this live just to tell you this message. Oh, my God. Wherever you are in the world today, oh, my God, wherever you listening from on from in the world today, I came to tell you, baby, that you ain't out here for nothing. Do you understand me? You ain't bouncing around out here for nothing, but the Lord has a purpose for you. Oh my God. And I declare and I decree that the Lord shall reveal your purpose unto you in this season right here. But if you don't want to go through no pain, you ain't ready for your purpose. Oh my God. Because it is in the midst of the pain. Oh my God. It is in the midst of your mess that God will turn that mess into a message. Do you understand me? God will use your story for his glory. Oh my God. Jesus. Glory be to God. You want me to give you an example of how he'll do it, baby? Oh my God. I went through a divorce. Do you understand me? Oh my God. To, uh, to those of you that ha have ever gone through a divorce, you know, you know the feeling. Okay. You know the feeling. Oh my God. See, that was my mess. Oh my God. I was in the mess. I was in the storm. Do you understand me? But this is how God worked. Let me show y'all how purpose work. Oh my God. Let me show you how purpose work. I went through a divorce. Oh my God. But God told me, God said, you went through something and you came out of something that other people can't come out of. Oh my God. He said, you went through something and you bounced back out of something that would have killed some people. Oh my God. It would have took some people out. God said the situation you was in, God said a lot of women don't come out of that. Oh my God. He said a lot of women are still struggling in that situation right now. God said, open up a space and start spiritually coaching young women young ladies that are in divorce right now. Oh my God. Young women and young ladies that are getting ready to face a divorce right now. You got children. You don't know how you're going to raise your children on your own. Oh my God. You don't know how you're going to make it. Oh my God. But see, let me tell you how purpose work, baby. God used my story for his glory. Do you understand me? He brought me out. Oh my God. Now I got to help other women come out. Do you understand me? I got to let other women know that that divorce is not the end of you, baby. You still got a purpose. Oh my God. You still got a purpose and God still going to use you. Oh my God. God going to use you and God going to use your children. Oh my God. And not only is God going to use you, baby, but God said you, the devil done took you through a Job experience. Uh-huh. God, he done disrupted your family. He done interrupt your family. He done tore your family apart. Oh my God. But God said, don't you know, baby? Baby, I am a rewarder. Glory be to God. God said, I'm a God that will give you back double what you lost. I told y'all the other day, God said he going to give y'all double for your trouble. Glory be to God. God finna give you double for your trouble, baby. Everything that the devil done ripped out of your hand, God said he finna bless you, baby. He going to give you double. Oh, my God. For some of you, God going to give you triple. He going to give you quadruple. Glory be to God. Because he is a God of abundance. Do you understand me? He is a God of more than enough. Oh my God. He is not a God of lack. He is not a God of scarcity. But he is a God of more than enough. Oh my God. He turned my mess into a message. Uh-huh. He turned my pain into my purpose. Do you understand me? That's the way purpose work. Glory be to God. The thing that the devil put on you to destroy you, that storm that the devil sent in your life to break you, it ended up making you. Oh, my God. Because look at what God made in the midst of the storm. Glory be to God. Look at what God made, baby. And I'm here to tell you he's the same God. Oh, my God. He'll do the same thing for you. Do you understand me? That mess that you in right now, you think that, that you just embarrassed and you ashamed. But don't you be ashamed, baby. Do you understand me? Don't you be ashamed because what you are going through, is for purpose. 
It's painful, but it's for purpose. And it's going to help somebody. It's going to deliver somebody. It's going to pull somebody out because somebody one day is going to be watching you. They watching you right now. And they really going to be watching you when you make it on the other side. They watching you to see if you're going to make it on the other side. Y'all, y'all don't, don't think because people not saying nothing to you, they ain't watching you. They watching you. Do you understand me? They watching you. Yeah. They looking. They might not check for you publicly, but they watching you. They watching your progress because they know everything you done been through. And they want to see if you're going to make it out of this. Oh, my God. They, they want to see if you're going to become successful. They want to see if you're going to become great. Oh, my God. You got to operate like you know you always got somebody watching you. Do you understand me? Somebody come in on this live, baby, say they watching me. Oh, my God. My enemies are watching me. Uh-huh. The devil is watching me, so I got to give him a show. Oh, my God. Because God has been good to me. Glory be to God. I got to kick this thing in beast mode. Oh, my God. I can't sit around and be scared of the devil. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I can't sit around and be scared of the devil. I got to move, baby. My father done told me to go, and I got to move. God is getting ready to turn your mess into a message. Do you understand me? God is getting ready to turn your pain into your purpose. But if you don't want to go through no pain, you might as well go sit down. Because if I had not endured all the pain from my past, oh my God, if I had not been through the storm, I've been through hell and back. Do you understand me? If I had not gone through that, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. Oh my God. I wouldn't be able to preach to you with the fire from on high, baby, like I'm preaching to you today. Glory be to God. I ain't scared of the devil because I got some experience with him. Do you understand me? I rolled with him for a long time. Uh-huh. He had a foot on my neck for a long time. I ain't scared of him, baby, because I got some experience with the devil. And I know what to do with him. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, I ain't never scared. Oh, my God. I ain't never scared. Uh-huh. I said ain't. Uh-huh. Because I'm from Georgia. I'm country. I got to be who God made me to be. Do you understand me? Don't you try to be somebody other than what God called you to be. You trying to go fit the mold. You trying to go jump in what's trending. And you just done contaminated your purpose. You just done messed up your gift. Because your gift and your purpose is you just being your unique self. You trying to go do what everybody else is doing because they doing it and they making money doing it. But you ain't going to make no money doing it because that ain't your gift. That's not your purpose. You got to walk in your purpose. Glory be to God. I can't get up here trying to talk like why Nita Bynum and Joyce Meyer and them because that ain't me. Do you understand me? I got to be who God called me to be. I'm going to try to be. I'm going to get up here trying to be like them and then I'm going to contaminate my purpose. Glory be to God. I done messed up my gift because I'm trying to I'm trying to fit. The form of somebody else. You got to be who God made you to be, baby. Because there are people. It's going to be people that going to turn away from you. And it's going to be people that going to stay with you. It's going to be some folks to stay with you. But you can't get turned. You can't get distracted by the people that walk away. Do you understand me? Because if they walk away, that means that they were not assigned to your purpose. You got to keep on going anyway. Oh, my God. You got to keep on pressing anyway. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. So I got to keep on going. You might walk off and leave me, baby. Okay, bye. I love you. God bless you and bye. Because I got to keep on going. Because there's a mark I got to get to. Oh, my God. And I know that everything that God got for me, it's going to be waiting for me in, on, in my destiny. Oh, my God. It's going to be waiting for me. And God showed me. God said, what you been praying for? God said, as you work on yourself, God said, it's over here working on itself. And God said, what happened here as you keep on moving forward? Oh, my God. God said, as you keep on moving forward, God said, you're going to run right into the blessing that I got for you. Glory be to God. That's what he told me, baby. God said, keep on moving forward. Oh, my God. God said, I know it's all kind of stuff back there calling your name. Oh, my God. Don't you listen to that, baby, because that's just a distraction. Do you understand me? The devil going to come with all kind of distractions because you done woke up to your purpose. You done woke up to your gift. Now, he got to do his job, and he got to come at you with the distractions. But I hear the Lord say, you better keep on going. Don't you listen to that noise back there. Do you understand me? Because that ain't nothing but the devil. Keep on going. Anything that try to distract you from your purpose, that ain't of God. You got you to gotta ignore that. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live, say, ignore that. You got to ignore that, baby. You got to have the spirit of discernment. And you got to know the voice of God versus the voice of the devil. Ignore that. How do I know if it's God, Toya? God ain't, God ain't going to convince you to go against what he told you to do. That's how you know if it's God or not. 
If they telling you, oh, come on, man, you know you could take a drink. What is one drink? A drink ain't going to hurt you. If they telling you, come on now, you, you, what is one blunt? Now, you smoke one. What is one? Come on now. you Come on. Yeah. That ain't God. Because God ain't going to convince you to go against what he told you to do. Glory be to God. Anything that's trying to contaminate your purpose, you better drop it right now. Oh, my God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, drop it right now. Drop it. Because I'm praying the prayer of purpose over y'all this morning. I'm praying that the Lord is going to reveal your purpose to you. But you're going to have to go through the process now. You're going to have to go through a little pain in order, you, in order for you to discover your purpose. Some of you don't know what your purpose is. What, what, what is your problem? I just told you, the, the purpose is your ability to be able to solve a problem. You have the answer to somebody's problem. Everybody going through problems. That's one thing that the world ain't not, the world is not in lack of. The world got plenty of problems. Everybody dealing with problems. All you got to do is figure out how to solve a problem for somebody. If you don't know your purpose, start asking, start telling, asking yourself, what, what am I dealing with right now? What kind of problems am I trying to overcome? And then you got to go through the painful process and overcome. See, as I went through my divorce, as I went through the things that I went through, I had to sit in that pain. I had to go through that painful process of overcoming. And then, see, I couldn't do it right then because I was in it. But once I came out of it and I learned the lesson, oh my God, once I went through that painful process, I was able to discover my purpose. Glory be to God. Purpose is your ability to solve a problem. What problem are you solving? When people have this problem, are they going to come looking for you? That's what going to make you different from everybody else. That's what sets you apart from everybody else. If you selling something, let it be for purpose. Do you understand me? Because anybody can sell something. I'm telling y'all what God told me. He said anybody can sell something, but what is the message that you're giving to the people? What is the purpose that you're solving? What problem are you solving for somebody? Because if you can solve their problem, they'll buy anything you got. Oh, my God. If you can solve their problem, if you can make them feel better about their life and better about themselves, they'll buy everything you got, baby. You might be selling flip-flops. They're going to buy all your flip-flops. You ain't going to never have no inventory because they're going to buy you out. Because you're doing it for purpose. That's what's going to separate you from everybody else. Anybody can get up here online and sell something, but is it for purpose? Who are you helping? Because if you operate from a greedy spirit, you might as well go sit down somewhere. Because you might get something, but you ain't going to keep it. That's what God told me. Glory be to God. What you doing to help somebody? Oh my God. What are you doing to give to somebody? What value are you bringing to somebody's life? Glory be to God. It's got to be for purpose. I hear the Lord say he tired of these folk. He tired of us doing all this stuff for nothing. He tired of us doing all this stuff for money. It's got to be for purpose. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, it's got to be for purpose. If you ain't doing it for purpose, you might as well go sit down somewhere. Glory be to God. I know that's the way we were taught all our life. They taught us when we was in school, what is your trade? You know, that y'all know what they told us. You got to pick a trade and you got to pick something that you're going to make a lot of money in. If you ain't going to make a lot of money, you don't need to pick that. The devil is a lie. We've been conditioned the wrong way all our life, and they're teaching our children to be the same way. That's why you better get this knowledge so you can give it to your children, and so we can start breaking these generational curses. I told y'all yesterday, we're breaking the generational curses off of our children. Our children ain't going to have to start from ground zero because they tried to pick a trade. Pick a trade and go work for somebody. The devil is a lie. You better find your purpose so you can work for yourself. Oh my God. You better find your purpose so you can start it, so you can leave a legacy behind for your children. Because God didn't bless your trade. Oh my God. God didn't bless that job. God blessed your purpose. Glory be to God. And whatever you try to go do outside of your purpose, you might make a little bit of something. Uh-huh. Because God is merciful and he reigned on the just as well as the unjust. So you might make a little bit of something. But God said you missing out on the blessing, baby. If you don't get in your purpose, you trying to skip that pain. See, you don't want to go through that pain. Because I done told you, you got to go through the pain in order to discover your purpose. You don't want to go through the pain. But I'm telling you, baby, it's worth it. Do you understand me? Because when you get on the other side, oh my God. And God break loose them blessings. Oh my 
my God. God getting ready to break loose the blessings over y'all. Let me tell you something, baby. Oh, my God. God will put you in an unprecedented season of your life. God will put you in a season where your enemies can see you, but they cannot touch you. Glory be to God. The enemies that's looking at me right now, baby, they looking, but they can't touch me. Do you understand me? Because I'm covered by the blood. Oh, my God. And I came to let you know, baby, your enemies, they watching you. Oh, my God. But God said they cannot touch you. Oh, my God. Somebody comment on this lie, baby, said my enemies can't touch me. Oh, my God. They can't touch me. But you know why they can't touch you? Because you got to wake up to your purpose. Uh-huh. God is serious about purpose. God don't play by purpose. Y'all can say what you want to say. That's why I preach purpose and I preach gifts. Because that's what God told me to preach all the time. Do you understand me? I don't care what kind of message I got. It's going to be centered around purpose and gifts. Because God don't play by purpose. Oh, no. God don't play by his purpose. God said you can have all the plans you want to make, but God said my purpose is going to prevail. Oh, my God. He don't play by that purpose, baby. And when you get serious about your purpose, God will not let nobody stop you. God is not going to let nobody get in your way. Do you understand me? God will move heaven and earth, baby, to get you to your destiny. Oh, my God. When you get serious about God, God will get serious about you. Glory be to God. If you ain't serious about your purpose, you in danger. Oh, my God. You are in danger. Do you understand me? Y'all know when they get ready to start letting people go on a job, who they get rid of first? Okay. Who they get rid of first? The people that ain't serving no purpose. The people that ain't bringing nothing to the company. They ain't, they ain't helping the company do nothing. They just down taking up space. That's who they get rid of first. And God said, that's who the enemy going to knock out first. These people that are just down here taking up space, they ain't doing nothing. They getting up every day like they waking up on accident. You're not waking up on purpose. You waking up like it's an accident. Oh, well, let me see what I can get into today. Girl, what you doing today? I don't know. What you trying to do? I don't know. Hey, man, what's up? What y'all got going on? What y'all got going on over there today? Man, then just chilling, just sitting around, ain't doing nothing. You won't be the first one to go because you is not serving no purpose. Do you understand me? God is serious about his purpose. When you are serious about your purpose, God going to get serious about you. And God going to rebuke the devourer. God going to cut the enemy off from, from getting to you because God got to make sure that he protect that purpose. Somebody comment on this live, say he's protecting my purpose. God ain't keeping you for nothing. God ain't keeping you just for you to sit down here and look cute. He ain't keeping you just so you can post glam shots on Facebook every day. He keeping you for purpose. Are you in your purpose? Because if you ain't in your purpose, you're not safe. You in a danger zone, baby. You better get in your purpose. That's why I'm praying the prayer of purpose over, over every last one of y'all under the sound of my voice. And God said, everything you do, you better let it be for purpose. You posting pictures. Who is you posting them pictures for? God said, let it be for purpose. You, you putting all them disruptive uh, comments and disruptive posts and stuff on social media. God said, you could, you, you could take that energy and go somewhere and write a book and help somebody. Why is you going back and forth with people on social media, putting all your business up there, making all them long posts? Go put that stuff in a book and let it help somebody. Leave a legacy for your children. Because what you put on Facebook, Facebook going to be gone one day and your children ain't going to see it. Go put that stuff in a book. Do you understand me? Go write a book. You don't know how to do it? Contact me. Oh, my God. Contact me. Invest in yourself. Book a session. Stop spending money on stuff that's not going to give you a return. And spend get serious about your purpose and spend money on something that's going to improve your life. That's going to improve the quality of your life for you and for your children. Glory be to God. This is what God told me. It's a heavy word. It hurts, but it's for purpose. We got to get serious. Because he's only protecting the purpose. God said the protection, it ain't, it ain't for everybody no more. Because them ain't the times we living in. Do you understand me? Y'all see the folks that's dropping. Y'all see the folks that's leaving up out of here. Why would you sit here and still not be serious about your purpose? Glory be to God. And, if, and again, I tell you, if you don't know what your purpose is, start thinking, start looking at the problems that you're in right now. Because I bet you got some problems. You might not know what your purpose is, but you got some problems, don't you? Uh-huh. Because everybody dealing with problems. What are your problems? And why? And go back and look in your past. Look at everything you dealt with in your past and how you came out of that. You still breathing, baby. You still living. You still here today. You got the victory. 
Look over your past and look at all the problems you faced over the course of your life. And look at how you came out of them problems. God said, put that in a business plan. Oh my God. Put that in a business plan. Let me tell you something. You might be sitting on this live talking about you don't know your purpose. Some of y'all got grown children. You done raised grown children. And you saying you don't know your purpose. Didn't you raise children? Your children grown. Okay. Well, you're an expert at raising children. Oh my God. You are an expert at raising children. Do you understand me? You might have went through the storm and the rain while you were raising them children, baby. Oh my goodness. You, the devil probably took you through hell and back with them children, but you still breathing, you still here, and you, and it's for purpose. God said, take that and turn it into your business plan. Use somebody else. It's a single mama out there, baby, that's in the baby stages and she don't know how she gonna make it. Tell about how you, oh my God, you better tell about how you was in the middle of your storm, baby, when it wasn't nobody but you and your children. Oh my God. Tell her how she can go in her house and take a little bit and turn it into a lot. Show her, tell her what you did. Oh, my God. Tell her how you came out. That's your purpose. Stop talking about you don't know your purpose. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I don't want to hear nobody else say that no more. I don't want to hear nobody else say I don't know my purpose. Because life and death is in the power of our own tongue. The world don't give us what we want. The world gives us what we are. No longer would you say you don't know your purpose because we don't have time, y'all. I'm telling you, we do not have time. It's now or never. Somebody comment on this live. Say it's now or never. Some of you are still on your jobs. That's fine. You still caught up in, in on the job scene. That's fine. But you still got a purpose. And I guarantee you, if you tired of that job that you own and you get serious about your purpose... And you start making steps, you got you to gotta get started. Somebody comment, baby, say you got to get started. You are never going to feel like you're going to get there if you don't never get started. The longest journey in the world all began with one step. You got to take that first step. If you can just take that first step, you might not have all your resources. You're not going to have all of your resources. You're not going to have everything you need. See, that's the problem. You want to start off and act like Oprah. You ain't Oprah. <laughs> you is not Tyler Perry. You is not Michelle Obama. You're not going to have everything, okay? And that's all right. But see, when you operate from purpose, as long as you take the step, God going to put somebody in your path. But God want to see if you're going to be faithful. That's why he told us, if you be faithful over a few things, I will make you ruler over many. Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all something. When I started with my podcast, I ordered me a little, I uh, think the mic was like $50. And that was a sacrifice. I had to make a sacrifice. I'm, that's why I tell y'all, you got to invest in yourself. You spend money on all that other stuff. Now, this is heavy. This is going to step on some toes, but oh, well. You spend money on all that other stuff. But when it comes time for your purpose, you sit up there like you ain't got nothing to my, I don't know my purpose. Because you ain't trying to know it. Oh, my God. You got to take that what you throwing away, giving to the devil, and you got to put it in your, in your good ground. Because you got good ground right there where you at. You going to work every day to help somebody get their vision together. You going to work every day to help them folks bring their dream, help them, uh, help their dreams come true. And you not even think about your dreams. You might be on that job right now. But at least set you a savings plan to the side to start funding your dream. Start funding your purpose. So that day when you do get ready to walk out that door, you got everything you need. You got to strategize, baby. You got to have a strategy on the devil. And don't tell everybody what you're doing, neither. Because people are not going to root for you. Just bust out with your stuff. Glory be to God. You ain't got to tell them you write no book. Just bust out with the book. Glory be to God. You ain't got to tell them you start no podcast. Just bust out with the podcast. Glory be to God. You ain't got to tell them you start no YouTube channel. Just bust out with the YouTube channel. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, bust out. <laughs> just bust out you ain't gotta try to you ain't gotta try to prep people up for what you getting ready to do because you trying to prep them up making facebook posts talking about yeah i got this i got that y'all gonna y'all gonna support me y'all gonna shop with me no they're not and don't you worry about that because god got somebody for you god got somebody that gonna buy your stuff god got somebody that gonna shop with you glory be to god but don't you get caught up on the applause of other people because you don't need nobody to 
You don't need nobody to clap for you. You got the divine clap from on high. Do you understand me? You got the divine applause from on high. That's what God told me. God said, woman of God, don't you worry if don't nobody never clap for you. Oh, my God. God said, heaven is clapping for you. Do you understand me? Heaven is rooting for you, baby. Heaven know your name. Heaven knows your existence. You might feel like you living in a world where you insignificant. Everybody look over you. They don't never give you the time of day. But you better know that the kingdom of heaven knows your existence. Oh, my God. I feel this thing. The kingdom of heaven knows your name, baby. And God said, they room for you. Do you understand me? God said they clapping for you in heaven and they want you to make it. Oh my God. Your ancestors want you to make it. Do you understand me? The angels want you to make it. Can't y'all feel that? Oh my God. They want you to make it to your destiny, baby. But you sitting there on your hands. You sitting there looking at everybody else. Oh my God. You sitting there like you got all the time in the world. And tomorrow ain't even promised to you. Oh my God. You got to get in a hurry. Do you understand me? You got to kick this thing in beast mode. Glory be to God. Get in your purpose. What is your mess? You don't know your purpose. Ask yourself, say, what is my mess? Because God going to use my mess. God going to turn my mess into my message. Uh-huh. See, now I coach divorced women. Oh, my God. I coach women that's getting ready to go through divorce, dealing with divorce, or just came out of divorce. Uh-huh. Because I done been in every one of them stages. Do you understand me? Uh-huh. And you done been through some things, too. All you got to do is take that and turn that into a business plan. And boom, there you go. If you ain't been through no pain, you ain't ready for your purpose. Turn that mess into a message. Oh my God. Use your story for the glory of God. Because it's all for his glory. That's why we here. Oh my God. You ain't here on your own assignment. See, you done got this thing twisted up. You think you here to look good. You think you here to do your own thing. You didn't come here for you. Glory be to God. You came here to make manifest. The glory of God that is within you. God hid the glory on the inside of y'all. I'm going to leave y'all with this. God said, until you manifest yourself, until you walk in purpose, God said, you are spiritual buds. Y'all know how a bud to a flower is. That flower is trapped inside of that bud. Oh my God. That rose is trapped inside of that blood and inside of that bud. But God said that's how it is with his glory. God said the glory of God is trapped inside of you. Do you understand me? The glory of God is hid within you. And God said you just like a spiritual bud right now. But God said when you manifest yourself, when you walk in your purpose, when you show the world what I hid on the inside of you, God said that's when you begin to bloom. Oh Oh my God. That's when you begin to bloom. He said, that's what, that's why you here. Do you understand me? That's your purpose. That's why you here. You are here to make manifest the glory of God that he hid on the inside of you. Oh my God. God said, just like I hid that rose on the inside of that bud. Oh my God. And when it, and when the season come, oh my God, somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, it's my season. Oh, Ooh, say it's my season because see that flower is gonna remain a bud until the season come do you understand me when the season come it will begin to bloom oh my god when the season come baby that bud gonna start opening up and it's gonna bloom into a beautiful flower oh my god god said y'all getting ready to bloom into something beautiful baby but you gotta go in your season do you understand me you can't try to go out of your time baby you gotta go in your season because when it's your season Come on, somebody. When it's your season, can't no devil in hell stop you. Oh, my God. When it's your season, can't no enemy stop you. What enemies? Oh, my God. God said if they if they come upon you to eat up your flesh, God said they will stumble and fall. Oh, my God. God said don't you worry about no enemies. I don't worry about no enemies, baby, because I'm in my purpose. Do you understand me? I'm all up in that thing. Oh, my God. I'm all up in my purpose. I don't even look behind me. I don't worry about no enemies. I don't worry about nobody. Because I know anybody try to step up on me and mine, God going to take them out. Because God don't play by his purpose. Glory be to God. God said, touch not my anointed. Oh, my God. And do my prophet no harm. God don't play by his, his folks, baby. And God don't play by his purpose. That's why I tell y'all to get in your purpose. Because when you get in your purpose, you protect it. Oh, my God. You protect it. Do you understand me? Even if God lets you fall, you better know it's all for purpose. I declare and I decree. As I let y'all go this morning, I declare and I decree that every single person that's under the sound of my voice, if you are a bud in the spirit, God is getting ready to bloom you. Oh my God. God is getting ready to make manifest that glory that he hid on the inside of you. That flower 
that is trapped inside of you. I declare and I decree right now in the name of Jesus that it's getting ready to bloom. Oh my God. You getting ready to walk into your season and your bud is getting ready to turn into a beautiful flower. Oh my God. The glory that God hid on the inside of you is getting ready to be made manifest to the world. And can't no devil in hell stop it. Glory be to God. Because it's for purpose. Jesus. I love y'all. I love y'all. If you have not gone to my YouTube channel, I want you to go to the Latoya O'Keele YouTube channel. It's the same as my Facebook, Latoya O'Keele. And I want y'all to subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube so y'all can get access to those videos every time I upload new videos. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification so you can be notified for all my new videos. If you have not checked out the podcast, y'all go listen to an episode of the podcast. It's called Divine Destiny with LaToya. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. And it's also on Apple Podcast. Okay? You can find it on all the podcast apps. Just go in the search, put in Divine Destiny with LaToya, and you'll pull up my podcast. I encourage y'all to go listen to that and continue to feed your spirit with the word of God because it is the word that is going to break you free. Okay, it's the word that's going to break you free. I love each and every one of you. As I said, I love you because we are all connected. No matter where you are in the world, we are all connected. And as a matter of fact, before we leave, I want everybody to drop their location. Drop your location. Wherever you are, I want you to drop your location because we all connected. We are all one body in Christ. And y'all going to see that to these folks that think they better than the other ones. They think they got something going on and everybody else is underneath them. You wait till Jesus come back then. Because you're going to see we all the same. And we all connected. We are all one. I don't care where you at in the world. We are all one. I don't care how much you hate them folks. You still one with them. Do you understand me? Y'all are still brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all one. Y'all drop them locations. Glory be to God. In every location that's being dropped right now, I send out the prayer missiles. I send out the prayer missiles right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that when these prayer missiles hit your location, the Lord is packing it with revelation. Oh my God. God is packing the prayer missiles with revelation this morning. Every single one of you, after you drop your location, I want you to begin to lift your hands. Oh my God. As you drop your location, begin to lay your phone down beside you and just lift your hands because God is sending the prayer missiles out to your location right now. Glory be to God. When you drop your location in the comments, you telling God, God, locate me. Oh my God. God, I'm lost. God, I need you. God, locate me. God, reveal my purpose unto me. Glory be to God. Drop y'all location in the comments, baby. And after you drop that location, lay your phone down beside you and just lift your hands. Glory be to God. Lift your hands and receive this anointing that God is putting over you right now. Glory be to God. I told y'all the spirit of God ain't got no limitations. God gonna come all through the phone. Oh my God. God is gonna anoint you, baby, all through the phone. Glory be to God. Some of y'all watching on your computer, on your laptop, God going to send the anointing all through the computer. Oh, my God. He going to send the anointing all through your laptop. He send the anointing all through your iPhone, all through your Android. He sending the anointing out this morning. God is sending the revelation because I'm releasing the prayer missiles. Oh, my God. I'm releasing the prayer missiles to every location that is being dropped in the comments right now. God is going to, oh, my God. God is going to give you a revelation like never before. God is going to reveal your purpose to you like never before. God is going to reveal your gifts to you like never before. Before. I see the gifts that God done hid down on the inside of y'all. Oh my God. God tucked them down on the inside of you and I'm stirring them up in this season. Oh my God. I declare and I decree that when these prayer missiles hit y'all location, it's going to hit with revelation. Oh my God. You're going to be able to open up your eyes in the spirit. Oh my God. You're going to be able to see like never before. Oh my God. You're going to be able to hear the voice of God like never before. You're going to hear God speaking to you just like I'm talking to you right now. Glory be to God. Because that's what the that revelation do. Oh my God. That's the revelation from on high. I declare and I decree that it's hitting every location right now under the sound of my voice. Glory be to God. 
It's coming to you, baby. Do you understand me? I don't care where you at in the world. It's coming to you. Glory be to God. Because God don't miss. Do you understand me? The spirit don't miss. And God showed me where the spirit always hit the target. Glory be to God. Because us as children of God, when we open up our mouth, oh my God, when we use all this power that God put on the inside of us and we open up our mouth, God showed me where the angels just take off. Oh my God. God said, woman of God, when you open up your mouth through faith, God said the angels take off. Oh my God. Somebody come in on this live baby said, take off. Oh my God. That's what the angels going to do for you. When you open up your mouth, glory be to God. God said, you ain't got to try to go get in your car and try to go run to where the trouble at trying to fix something. God said, open up your mouth. Oh my God. Just open up your mouth, baby. And use all that power. Oh, you got so much power. Glory be to God. Use all that power that the father put on the inside of you. Because when you open up your mouth, God is showing me where the angels going to take off. Glory be to God. That's why I told y'all to drop y'all location. Because as I, as you drop your location, as you lift your hands, and as I speak this word, the angels going to take off. Oh, my God. They know how to fight. Do you understand me? God got some angels that know how to fight, baby. Oh, my God. God got some angels that ain't scared of the devil. Do you understand me? Even though the devil going to come up with his, with his imps and his demons, he going to try to steal this word. He going to try to snatch this word. God showing me where the angels going to take off. Oh, my God. God showing me where the angels going to fight the enemy. Me. And God said, oh my God, the gates of hell shall fight against you, but they will not prevail. Oh my God, the devil ain't going to win this fight. Do you understand me? God said the angels winning this. God said the kingdom of heaven going to win this thing. Oh my God, because this fight already been fought. Do you understand me? Jesus already took this battle on the cross. Oh my God. When he died, oh my God, when he shed his blood for you and me, oh my God, when he died and came again on the third day, when he rose with all power in his hands, glory be to God, he gave us the victory, oh I feel this thing, glory be to God, he gave us the victory baby, so I don't fight for victory, uh uh, y'all tell the devil I don't have to fight you, oh my God, I don't fight for victory, I stand on the victory, oh my God, I stand on the victory, cause my father sent his son to come die for me, glory be to God, I don't have to fight you, you devil I don't have to fight you I don't have to fight for the victory I stand on the victory oh my god I sleep in victory. Oh my God. I wake up in victory. Oh my God. I drive in victory. Do you understand me? I eat in victory. Glory be to God. I don't have to fight for the victory. Victory is already mine because I am a child of the king. Glory be to God. Y'all come in on this live. I'm finna let y'all go, but y'all come in on this live, baby. Say victory is mine. Oh my God. Can't y'all feel that? God said y'all winning this morning. Don't you let the devil steal this word now because he gonna come try to steal this word from y'all, but you got to be strong, baby. I'm praying for your strength and God. Oh my God. I'm praying that you're going to take this word and hide it in your heart that you might not sin against God. Glory be to God. Y'all come in on this live baby said victory is mine. Glory be to God. Whew. Jesus. Glory be to God. God bless every one of you that thought it not robbery to come and tune in to morning glory this morning. God bless every one of you. Oh my God, I'm praying that the Lord will open up the windows of heaven and he will pour you out a blessing that there will not even be room enough for you to receive it. I'm praying that the Lord will bring in so much fish that it's gonna break your net. Glory be to God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak blessings. I declare the blessings of God over every one of you, over every household that's being represented right now. I speak blessings over you. I speak life over you. Glory be to God. And all you got to do is receive it, baby. Y'all comment and say, I receive it, Toya. Uh-huh. All you got to do is receive it. You ain't got to try to jump up and down three times, flip around, stand on your head. You ain't got to do none of that. All you got to do is tell God, I receive it. I receive it. Because God done left some stuff for you. And all you got to do is receive it. Every woman, boy, man, girl, all of y'all. God said, receive it. Receive the blessings that I have for you. Again, I love every one of you. Because as I said, we are all connected. We are all connected. And there is not one that's better than the other one. Because God does not have no respect of persons. Glory be to God. Don't put me on no pedestal. Do you understand me? Don't do that. Because all I did was identify the gift that God put on the inside of me. All I did was answer the call. And I'm preaching to you, telling you this morning, that if you answer the call, oh my God, if you wake up the gifts, if you tell God, 
I'm ready to walk in my purpose. I declare and I decree that the Lord will do the same thing for you. Oh my God. God, God said y'all ain't even scraped the surface, baby. You ain't even, you've been getting all this little stuff here and there. Okay. You might have been getting a little stuff here and there, but God said that ain't nothing compared to what I'm finna get ready to give you. Oh my God. That ain't nothing compared to what I'm finna get ready to let fall on you. And I'm gonna leave y'all with this. This is what God showed me. God, y'all know the word of God been telling us for the longest that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Oh my God. God began to show me the things that were happening in the earth realm. God said, if you notice, God said all the millionaires, God said, look at what's happening to them. Oh my God. God said they losing their millions. Do you understand me? God said their wealth is going down. Oh my God. God said their money is 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 disappearing oh my god god said they 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 losing millions in the stock market do you understand me this is what god began to show me uh-huh god said it ain't god said then none of the money leave the earth realm Whew. god said then none of the money leave the earth realm do you understand me god said the money is still here oh my god he said it's still here he said i'm getting ready to shift oh my god god said i'm getting ready to take it out the hands of the devil and i'm getting ready to put it in the hands of my children glory be to god glory be to god Woo. i'm trying to hold my composure y'all i'm trying to sit here oh my god i'm trying to sit here but god just dropped that thing off in my spirit oh my god god said don't you be no fool do you understand me i hear the spirit of the living god say be not deceived oh my god god is not mocked Woo! for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap y'all keep on sowing y'all seeds do you understand me you keep on sowing in good ground oh my god keep on doing for the people of god baby be not weary in well doing oh my god for in due season and you shall reap. Oh my God. Only if you faint not. Do you understand me? You got to hold on, baby. God said, did none of the money leave the earth realm? God said, all I did was I took it out the hands of the wicked. Oh my God. And I'm finna put it into the hands of the righteous. Oh my God. Glory be to God. Whew. He's shifting. Can't you feel that? Oh my God. If you open up your spirit, you're going to feel that thing. I don't care what nobody say. God is shifting the atmosphere. Glory be to God. God said this about to be a new day. Do you understand me? This getting ready to be a new time. God is shifting. Oh my God. God said didn't nothing leave this earth realm. God said everything is still here. God said I'm getting ready to shift it out the hands of the wicked. And I'm finna put it into the hands of the righteous. Cause God said my word is gonna come to pass. Do you understand me? Cause God don't speak no vain words. I told y'all the other night when God speak that's law. And God said, I spoke this over 2,000 years ago. God said, I spoke this in my word. God said, I told you that the last shall become first and the first shall become last. God said, what you thought I was talking about? Glory be to God. God said, that's why the millionaires going belly. Oh, oh my God. That's why they losing everything. Oh my God. But God said, did nothing leave this earth realm. I'm getting ready to put it into the hands of my children. Glory be to God. Because the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. And God showed me where he got treasures. Oh, my God. I'm trying to let y'all go, baby. But y'all come in on this line, baby. Said divine treasure. Ooh, God showed me where he got stuff hid in the earth realm for you. Oh, my God. God said he got stuff hid, baby. Oh, my God. And God said, the devil don't know where it is. Oh, my God. God said, he going to show it to you. Uh-huh. He going to reveal it to you and your family. Do you understand me? If you serve God, baby, if you love your enemies. Oh, my God. If you change your heart, I see God showing you where he laid the treasure. Oh, my God. God got buried treasure in the earth realm just for you. Oh, my God. God got riches down here. Don't you understand me, baby? Glory be to God. He created this world. Oh, my God. He know where everything at in it. Uh-huh. God said he got buried treasure that he getting ready to reveal unto you. Whew. Glory be to God. I got to let y'all go. <laughs> I got to let you go, baby, because I've been to preach this thing all day. Do you understand me? God got buried treasure for you, baby. God got stuff hid in the earth realm. God said it been down for thousands of years. Oh, my God. God showing me this stuff. God said it's been now for thousands of years. But God said you and your family going to find it. Oh, my God. You going to find it because God said if you live right. Oh, my God. If you serve me, God said I'm not only going to save you. Oh, my God. I'm not only going to blow you up. God said I'm going to save your whole family. Oh, my God. God said I'm going to blow up your whole family glory be to god like he did with the man of god oh my god just like he did with noah god found favor in one man oh my god and because god found favor in noah god saved noah whole family oh my god when he flooded the earth god saved noah family he told noah he said put your family on the ark 
Glory be to God. He said, put your family on the ark that they won't be destroyed. Glory be to God. And I came to tell you, baby, he ain't changed. Do you understand me? I know y'all feel this thing. You don't feel it. You better tell me where you at. I'm finna come lay hands on you. Oh my God. I know you got, if you got a spirit, you gonna feel this. Glory be to God. God told me, God said, I'm the same God. Do you understand me? God said, I ain't changed. I'm the same God that made the promise to Noah. Oh my God. God said, I'm making the same promise to you, woman of God. God said, if you live right. Oh my God. If you love of your enemies. Oh my God. If you turn from your wicked ways, God said, I'm not only going to save you. God said, I'm going to save your whole family. Oh my God. God going to save y'all whole family. God said, y'all got family members that's incarcerated right now. Oh my God. You got family members that are in prison. They've been in prison for a long time. Oh my God. I hear the spirit of the living God say, I'm going to save them. Do you understand me? Don't think God ain't dealing with them, baby. God said he dealing with them. Oh my God. God going out in the jail cell this morning. Oh my God. Everything God do is for purpose. Do you understand me? God ain't going to let not one of them fall by the wayside. If you live right and if you serve God, oh my God, if you turn from your wicked ways, I see God saving your whole family. Glory be to God. And God said that wealth that I done snatched out the hands of the wicked, I'm going to put it in your hands. Oh my God. He going to put it in your hands, baby. He not only going to save you, but he going to give you that abundant life that Jesus promised you. Oh my God. Jesus said the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you may have it more abundantly. To the overflow. Overflow. He's an overflow God. Glory be to God. We ain't got to fight. We ain't got to scratch and claw over one another blessing. God is a God of overflow. Oh my God. He can bless all of us in the overflow and he still won't run out. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. We made it through another week of morning glory. Y'all come back and join me Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. Eastern time. 4.30 a.m. Central. Whatever time zone you're in, just invert that to your time zone, okay? I want you guys to buy, purchase my new books. Uh, I have, I haven't got beast mode yet, but this is the journal. It's a woman's guide to healing and manifestations. If you have not purchased your divine destiny prayer journal, go to Amazon. You can inbox me. I'll send you the link to purchase your prayer journal and then purchase my new book that's out right now. It's called beast mode, okay? It's y'all know the mail is like snail mail right now. So nobody's getting their copies right now. I think the first set of copies is going to start coming out probably on Sunday or Monday. So y'all go to Amazon and go ahead and order your books. And if you have not joined my monthly mentorship program, y'all sign up for the mentorship program. It's only $10 a month. And I give y'all so much value. I'm getting ready to, after I get off of here with y'all, I'm getting ready to um, send out my daily devotionals to all of my mentees. They get daily personal devotionals from me. I send out scriptures, messages, videos. I send that to their personal emails. We have weekly group coaching sessions in our private Facebook group. We have weekly group coaching sessions on Zoom. You get all of that, y'all, just for $10 a month. You, you, you get me. If you can't book the one-on-one -on -one sessions, you could do the $10 a month mentorship program, okay? Because you got to invest in yourself. You're going to have to put some in now because whatever you get in, you got to know what the seeds you plant, you don't never get the return back the same way you planted it. You're going to get more than what you planted. Okay. If you don't do that, y'all make sure y'all get with somebody. You might not, you might, for some reason, you might not want to shop with me. <laughs> that's fine. Hey, that's fine. You might not want to shop with me, but whoever you, whoever you choose to shop with, you need to invest in yourself. You need to go somewhere and invest in yourself because you can't make the change on your own. I'm telling you, I had, there were women of God, my pastors, Pastor Powell and Pastor Kegler. There were two women of God that prayed for me when I was in my mess, when I was going through my stuff. I couldn't change. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself out. I, I had to, I had to go to somebody that was stronger than me. I had to go to somebody that was going to help me. And because they helped me, now I can stand before y'all today and do what I do. I couldn't do it on my own. Don't you sit there and let the devil fool you and you keep telling yourself you don't need nobody. You can do it all by yourself. No, you can't. And the devil know that. He know that there's strength in numbers. Y'all, our mentorship program, we're growing every day. I guarantee y'all, our first meeting after I got out the meeting, my energy was so high, y'all. I felt so good. And y'all can ask my, other, my mentees that are in the group. It, it's, it's good for your energy. It's good for your mindset. And it's just a small investment for you to make that's going to give you a huge return. 
Don't sit there and try to fight this battle by yourself. You need to use, you need to take advantage of the help. Um, Stephanie, I'll send you the link, love. I'll send you the link to everybody that's, that's wanting to join. Um, y'all inbox me and just say, send me the link to the mentorship. Cause, um, I go back and review the comments, but it might take me a while to find your comment where you were saying about where do I join? So y'all just inbox me, say, send me the link to you and I'll send you the link. Okay. I love y'all so much. Uh, Barbara, the name of the journal is divine destiny is divine destiny prayer journal. And it's on Amazon. It's a three month journal for, for women. It's a guide to healing and to manifestations. And if you want to join the mentorship program, um, like I say, it's $10 a month. And I encourage you to, to get these two books, to get the prayer journal and to get the beast mode book, because we're going to be going over those books in the mentorship program. We're going to be going over it. So y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Uh, Demetria, I got you, love. Sunday, I got you. I'm going to send y'all that link, okay? Let me see. Mary, I got you, Mary. Barbara, I got you. Charlene, I got you. But y'all send me that send me that message to my inbox too so I can make sure I don't miss you. I can make sure I send you that link because it might get lost in the comments. I might not be able to see it right then. It might take me a little while before I can see the comments. So y'all just inbox me, okay? So as we said, we have morning glory, Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m., if you can, you know what? Even if you can't make it but one day a week, <laughs> that's better than nothing. Hey, that's better than nothing. Even if you got to catch it on the replay. Hey, that's better than nothing. Some of y'all catch it when you get up to go to work. You might, listen now, I know how hard it is to get up. I understand. You might have to, you might have a job you have to go through, go to at eight o'clock. You get, you got to get up by six thirty seven. It's going to be hard for you to get up at five thirty, and you know, that's your last little hour of sleep. I understand, but I'm telling y'all when you make that sacrifice, now God going to come through for you. I'm telling you now, he going to come through for you. If you make that sacrifice for him, he going to make that sacrifice for you. But even if you can't make it but one day a week, I understand that's better than nothing. Okay. I love y'all and y'all know if y'all listen to the podcast, this is what I tell y'all at the end of the podcast. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand with God. All things are possible. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, the mentorship is for group coaching. Okay. But, um, if you have private issues that you want to go over with me one-on-one, -on -one, you need coaching one-on-one, -on -one, you can, I can send you the link for that too, for you to book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me. Okay. Me, it be just be me and you for an hour. Now, if you need prayer, you do not have to book a session for prayer. Y'all just inbox me if you need prayer. Okay. Don't you go up there paying for no session and stuff and you just need prayer. The sessions, the coaching sessions are different. Okay. Cause see, you might, you might want to do coaching, but you might just be in a mess right now. You might just need somebody to pray for you and get you to the point where you can do the coaching. Cause see, your mind got to be right to be able to do coaching. Cause I can't force nothing on you now. You got to have your mind ready to change and to actually take the efforts to change. Okay. Thank you so much, Brenda. Brenda dropped the link for y'all down in the comments. Brenda Denise. That's the link for y'all. Thank you so much, Brenda. Glory be to God. So, as I said, please don't try to battle on your own. Don't try to fight a battle on your own when God has given you resources, okay? So, if you want to be able to take advantage of the things that we got going on with the mentorship program or with the one-on-one -on -one coaching, but you're not quite there yet, like I said, let me know what your situation is and I will pray for you. We're going to get to praying. We're going to come up with some kind of plan or something. So you could be able to invest in yourself. And a lot of times it's not even necessarily a prayer situation. It's just a shift situation that you need to make. There, there may be some, God may have blessed you with something, but you may be kind of misusing it. See, cause that's what it was for me. I was quick to say I ain't had no money and I ain't had this or that. But in reality, I really did have it. I was just spending it on stuff I shouldn't be spending it on. <laughs> That's how God did me. God was like, okay, you got to check your, your spending habits now. Yeah. Yeah. We go over all that too on, in the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Whatever you got, whatever you get, whatever you're dealing with that you need to make a plan. Let me tell y'all, a life coach, I'm a certified life coach. 
All a life coach is, is a motivational, unbiased friend, okay? You may you want to change, you want to transform your life, you ready, you sick and tired of being sick and tired, but you might not have anybody in your corner. You might not have anybody you can confide in. Because, see, we want to try to tell our family members sometimes, we want to try to tell our friends, tell our co-workers, and all they're going to do is judge you. Uh-huh. They're going to judge you. They're going to judge you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Because you're trying to say, okay, well, I could just talk to this person right here. No, you can't because they're going to judge you. And you're going to hear your business again. Okay, y'all know how that go. Everything you tell them, you hearing it coming out of somebody else's mouth. So I'm telling you, when you take advantage of that mentorship and that life coaching, it does something for you subconsciously. You know what I'm saying? It does something for you subconsciously because I know for me, when I was when when I was doing coaching, when I had a coach and when I was paying a coach, it made me more serious. I'm just telling y'all, I was more serious about my change because I knew that I was actually investing in myself. And I was like, okay, when stuff would come up on me, I was like, uh-uh, you ain't finna, you, I, you no, by devil, no, because I'm doing too much to try to keep myself on track. You'll hold yourself accountable more. You'll 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 be quicker. You'll be quicker to turn down negativity. You'll be quicker to turn down the devil when he come up on you. Because you know everything that you done put into yourself. That's just like a good pair of shoes. You invest in a good pair of shoes. You might have had to come out of the pocket for them shoes. You ain't finna go out there and walk all in the mud in them shoes and let and let folks step all over your shoes and stuff. And you know you done paid a pretty penny for them shoes. <laughs> You be ready to fight somebody because they done stepped on your shoe. <laughs> but what are you doing for yourself? That's the way we got to be for ourselves, okay? And I make this stuff, it's, it's, very, it's very affordable, y'all. It's very affordable. It's money that we spend in a day. We spend it on fish plates. We spend it on McDonald's. We spend it on Zaxby's. We spend it on Taco Bell. We spend it uh, wherever. Wherever you go spend money at every day, I'm telling you. You spend this stuff every day. Every day. All you got to do is make a little shift. That's it. So I love y'all so much. Like I say, if you need prayer, inbox me. I will be glad to pray for you. Glad to pray you through your storm. Whatever it is you're dealing with, inbox me. Okay? Now, I won't always be able to just be on the phone and talk because, like, when I'm, because most of the time when I'm not on live, I'm doing coaching. Okay? I'm doing coaching. So, Y'all just sign up. Uh, y'all got to sign up. I'm telling y'all. Y'all y'all, y'all missing out. If you ain't signed up, you missing out. You missing out. I don't know no other way to put it. You missing out. You ain't signed up. You going to feel so much better about yourself. You going to feel so much better about life. Wives, you going to be such a better wife to your husband. You going to be happy. You going to be smiling more. You know why? Because you going to be getting that good energy. The devil knows that there is strength in numbers. When you come together with positive minded people, people of faith, people that are just like you, and they coming together on one cause, they all want to change. They all want better. You going to be all that positive energy just going to feed. It's just going to burst through your spirit. And you going to become a better person for your husband. Hug, men of God, you'll become a better man for your wife. You become a better employee, a better father, a better mother. It just make you better all the way across the board, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's worth it. So y'all be blessed. I have enjoyed being up here with you guys this morning. Um, to all of my people that are going to watch the replay, I love you. Keep watching. Even if you don't make it for the live, keep watching. Okay? Because God is doing something on the inside of you. He's doing something on the inside of every single person. And for all of you that have been on with me ever since I hit live, you've been up here from the very beginning and you rock with me all the way to the end. You still watching. God got something special for you. And I'm praying right now that the Lord is going to pour out in your life. God is going to give you a blessing that the devil can't touch. The devil can't snatch. God got a blessing. God got some divine buried treasure. He got it hid for you. And I declare and I decree in this season, you're going to find it. It's going to locate you. Glory be to God. This has been Latoya Okia, your life coach and your motivational speaker. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed.